Hi guys, okay, so today I'm gonna show you how I make my dog dresses for Posey. And this is just my method that I figured out was the easiest way. I haven't bought any patterns. That might be the easiest way, but sometimes I get an idea in my head and I just wanna go for it and this is what I did. This is one of the dresses I made for Posey. And I'm just kind of showing you how um, it looks when it's laid out flat. So I had been given this little simple dress and I just thought, you know, I can make a much cuter dress than this. I laid this down flat over a piece of paper and traced the outline of the dress. Um, I didn't trace the skirt portion, just the top portion up into this little seam here where the white fabric meets the black and white fabric. So once I did that, I cut it out. Here's my trace line but I went ahead and left about half an inch more. Here's my trace line, went up higher, all the way around the whole pattern, sides, bottom, everything. This allows you some seam allowance when you're ready to sew. So then I take this and lay it on top of my fabric and cut my fabric out to the um, size of this paper. Now as Posey's gotten bigger, I've had to um, make the pattern a little bit bigger and I basically freehanded. I put the other pattern on top of it and extend the lines. I haven't um, had to do too much but this is basically the size that she uses all the time now. So if you purchase a dog dress, a real expensive one, so if you purchase a dog dress or you have one already or just get a really inexpensive one to use as a pattern, I really feel like this is the easiest way. These are the fabrics that I've purchased. I just went to Joann's Fabric and picked up some pink material. I only, for my size dog, she's a Yorkshire Terrier, I really don't require too much fabric. I ended up buying three quarters of a yard of this pink satiny material, a quarter of a yard for the sparkly because this will be more of her skirt, which would be, um, this will be for her skirt. I don't need quite as much. This will make the skirt and the top half. I layer fabrics and this will be just a little embellishment around the waistline. So I only got a quarter or excuse me, half a yard of this. So altogether, my fabric came to about $10, but I often get it much cheaper than that. You can always look for clearance fabric or use some fabric you have on hand. You can even take your old shirts or dresses or things you found at garage sales and use that material from those items and I have um, I've used scraps of material that I've had um, laying around the house or um, I've even saved some skirts and things that I don't wear anymore because I know I can use that material because Posey's not a very large dog. Okay so the next step would be late to lay your fabric out and take your pattern and pin it on all the way around to make sure it lays flat. Posey's barking for a treat in the background. By the way, my fabric is folded in half. So um, there's the crease where the fabric's been folded in half and I'm pinning and I'm pinning through both um, pieces of the fabric that way it cuts out a front and a back and we'll sew those together okay so once you have your whole pattern pinned down you can go ahead and cut through both um, sides of the fabric or both pieces of the fabric so just lay it out And just go ahead and cut right up alongside the edge of the pattern. Okay, so that's all cut out. Just get rid of your scrap papers I, or scrap pieces of fabric. I usually don't throw mine out because I might be able to use these to make a bow or a little flower, something to put on the dress or at another time. So now we're going to take this top portion over to the sewing machine, take the pattern off and 
sew them together. And this is the leftover fabric that we're still going to use for the skirt as well. So keep that. Anyways, go ahead and take all your pins out. Once you've removed all the pins, go ahead and take your pattern, set it aside. You will be using it again at some point, not today, but to make another dress. And then determine which are the best sides of your fabric. And um, some fabrics, there's not a real um, definite difference, but some of them do have. And once you um, know which sides those are, put them together. Mine was folded here on the crease, and so I didn't cut across, so I'm going to do that real quick. No, no, Posey. Okay, so looking at my fabric here, um, I really can't tell a difference from one side to the next, so I'm going to leave it the way it is and go over to the sewing machine. And also, to keep your two pieces of fabric together, it's a good idea to pin it in a few various places so the fabric doesn't slip. Okay, so to go ahead and take your fabric and sew it, the two pieces together. Do not sew across this bottom this is the top where it would go around her neck. These are the sides. Do not sew across this very long bottom length because we will be attaching a skirt. Now, you're not going to sew completely up to the raw edge because we've left ourselves about half an inch seam allowance. So try to aim between a quarter inch and half an inch, anywhere in there, so that you're leaving yourself a wide enough strap. And this is, um, remember, we're sewing with the good sides on the inside and just go around the whole perimeter except for the bottom half like I said and maybe the side straps on the very edge um, if you're wanting to add the embellishment which I am that way you can tuck it in okay so started here went all the way up and around all the way around now we'll take those needles out just the fabric does not need to be connected anymore. It's sewn together. And at this point, you can flip it inside out and push all those little straps through so that you've got your good sides facing the outside now. Sometimes you need to take something kind of sharp like a seam ripper or a pair of scissors and gently push these corner edges of the neck and straps out like so. Okay, so here we go. We've got the top portion of our dress. So we've got it right side out now. And um, there's the inside. Okay, so we're gonna set that aside for a while because now we're gonna determine how um, long we want our skirt and also um, how much gathering we want in our skirt, how full we want it. So let's do that. To do this, I usually take another dress that I've made or the original one, which I do not care for the skirt on the original one, but um, I figure out um, how um, long I want the skirt. So here's another dress I made. How long I want it from the waistline down. And you can take your dog and measure um, where the end of their tail is and figure out how long you want it. If you don't want it to go all the way down to their tail, how what point of the back you want it to reach. But um, I usually cut mine about seven inches, maybe add half an inch for seam allowance. That way I have a quarter inch on the top and bottom for seam allowance. So I'll go ahead and mark my fabric about how long I want it. My skirt's only going to be this wide because that's how wide my fabric is. If I were had not cut it on the fold, I could have done that and it would have been twice as long, but that's okay. So go ahead and cut your fabric along here. And I get kind of lazy and I don't even mark it. I just kind of follow, I lay my little measuring tape across there so I have an idea. And you can cut as many layers of skirt as you want. You don't just have to have one layer. You can cut multiple. And that way um, you have um, a frillier skirt and you can do them at different lengths. That way um, each level of skirt is a little shorter than the next and they kind of sit up on top of each other. And that's pretty cute too. 
So I just cut out two strips at the same time just because that was easiest. And um, I can leave them both the same length and they'll stack up on top of each other or I can make one slightly um, shorter than the other and I think I'll do that. So I'm just gonna freehand it and I'm going to come across here and cut off about an inch at the bottom or top, it doesn't matter. And some fabrics are much easier to work with than others. Um, a good, just nice cotton material is probably the easiest. This is more of like a satiny material. It's definitely a little harder to work with because it's slippery. Okay, so now this one, if I laid it over the top of the other skirt, it's definitely shorter. Um, so when these are all gathered up into a skirt, you can see I will have two layers. But first we need to take these over to the sewing machine and hem the edges. And you'll need to hem the side and the bottom edge. You can leave the top alone. And we'll do that on both of them. If you only have one, then you'll do it on one but, or three, but you have to do it to each and every one individually. Now to him, you can watch a tutorial on YouTube, another channel to see how to do it. But basically you fold, it depends on how wide you want your hem, but I want a pretty small one. Fold it in once and then twice. And you would do that all the way down the length and sew it. You can pin, you can pin your whole hem in and then do it. Um, sometimes I have to depending on the fabric, <clears throat> but sometimes I get pretty lazy. So I just get it started and then go along as I'm going. Okay, so I've just completed hemming both of the skirts. There's the first one and the second one all down the side, the very bottom half and the other side. So now the top parts are just the rough edge and I'm going to show you how to gather them so that you can make um, a gathered skirt. Before I gather the two skirts together, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out my top layer of skirt. So I actually have three layers of skirt. I'm gonna lay this out and cut it to the same length as my pink skirts. So I can go ahead and do that now. So I'm taking the shorter of the two skirts and laying it over um, this sequin fabric and I'm cutting it a little wider to allow seam allowance for this skirt as well. Okay, so I've got this piece cut out now and I'm going to take it over and hem the edges just as I did the pink skirts. And we're going to hem this edge as well. I've gone ahead and hemmed the whole um, side and bottom edge of this layer of skirt. And so now I have taken all three layers of the skirt and lined them up at the top rough edge and pinned it all the way down so I can take it to the sewing machine and put a wide stitch through here so that we can gather them all together. So at this point you want to make your stitch as big as it will go. Mine is at a five. So put it in and start sewing without um, doing any knots at the top or bottom. Just keep on going. We need those long strings at the very end. And now we'll pass it through a second time, um, pretty close to that original seam. So now you can see I have the two large stitches going all the way across with the strings hanging out on both sides so that we can start pooling and gathering this. So I have the strings hanging off at either end of this fabric and I'm going to remove all the little needles I put in here as well. So I'm going to take the front strings and put them this way and keep the back ones to the back on both sides. Now holding the front strings only and keeping the back to the back, I'm going to start cinching this fabric in pulling gently and pushing this this way. You can see it's giving it a gathered effect. And I'm going to do this on both sides till I get an even gathering. Gathering, spreading, gathering, spreading, all the way till I get a nice even gather.